So why is it good to have it on the screen, Mark? Yeah, that, that's a good question. Well, first of all, it's good to have both types of biometric technologies, right? There are lots of pros to Face ID, but there's also cons. There's lots of pros to Touch ID, but also cons. Some of the features are more useful during certain times of the day, such as if you know you just wake up, you get out of bed, you know, it, it's harder to you know enable Face ID, have that work <laughs> with Touch ID. You know, it's easier. So if you have the best of both worlds, you'll have a better chance of getting the phone unlocked securely uh, than you would by having just one of them. Are you trying to insinuate that we're unrecognizable first thing in the market? Morning, Mark. I can't believe it. Uh, I, I think that is what I'm trying to say, yes. <laughs> what about um, the fact that they're actually a bit behind the curve in this one, right? Uh, yeah, they are a little bit behind the curve here, given that some Android phones from Huawei, Oppo, et cetera, Samsung, of course, have been have been doing this the last several months. But the one thing that shouldn't be lost on this is that Apple was actually first to take fingerprint scanning at all in phones mainstream with the 2013 launch of the iPhone 5S. Now, I remember Touch ID coming out with the 5S, you know, maybe five, six years ago now. It was extremely impressive. Mm -hmm. And so when Apple was getting rid of Touch ID for Face ID in 2017, that was a bit of a surprise because Touch ID was working so well. Now we'll see how this new generation, you know, en en ends up working either next year or the year after.